Bone. Drake. Two cooties, two cooties and three hats. <laughs> yeah, it's two hoodies and three cats. Uh, so, warning, friends. Um, you guys have been phenomenal. Um, we're doing uh, part four of the con- THR con- concert. I had a Pepsi Center one pop up in my feed today, and uh, it was for uh, 21st Century, the title track from their first album. And I was like, almost. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait. So as soon as we're done with this concert, which we're going to try to get it done quicker, um, we're going to get started on that one. But uh, we're um, we're going to change the name of the channel because uh, I've lost yet another four-legged furry friend. and uh, Another feline family member. Yeah, so um, both of my boys that I've had with me 15 plus years, both have gone between August and November and uh, been pretty brutal. So uh, obviously it's not three cats anymore there's only two here and uh we're gonna we're gonna come up with a new name for the channel if any of you have suggestions please leave it in the comments and uh with that we're gonna get into this we uh we finished with dull knives last time so the next track here is when i'm alone so we're gonna do when i'm alone we're gonna do um 23 and we're gonna do survive and those are the three tracks we're gonna do on this part um we're, we're starting it at Right as Dull Knives ended, so yeah, we we don't miss anything. Yeah. Um, it had nothing to do with what I thought it had anything to do with. <laughs> the Dull Knives track. Hey, either way, it's been phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, to hell of a ride. So uh, we just recently hit, literally two days ago, hit 3,000 subscribers. We're over it now. Thank you so much. Um, that's That's hangover gang that's the warning the warning army that's uh wren's wren's crew the renaissance um the renegades the renegades that's uh the random mr bungle fans that's uh and uh and uh phantomos and then the other band that's really been kind of we've been really getting into is band made and we were looking for other bands and stuff to check out but those four have been and their fans base have been phenomenal on this have you heard much from melvin's not a lot no so uh, I think he just found something we're going to do at some point. So uh, you ready? Yeah, lay it on us, Daddy. Here we go. A ver si es cierto que se sabe en esta canción. ¿Qué? Okay. <laughs> Full of color on the outside, but only see in black and white. I'm desperate for some light in the corners of my mind. Having hope but not enough, reaching out to find no one. Am I the only soul to have lost all control? It gets hard to breathe, stuck in between. My fake reality and there's no escape from the voice in my head It's driving me crazy Nobody understands my sense That was pretty cool. That that hits home on so many levels. Yeah. That was pretty that's pretty intense. And it just amazes me every time we hear a new song or a song we haven't heard before. Because their writing style as a as a group is so like complete. It's like you I I it's not I'm not lost on the fact that they're young, but they are so mature on their musical talent and skills and writing. And their subject matter and the way they approach it. And it's, it's, they. They seem wise beyond their years. They they? are, they are. Old souls, as I would say. So far ahead 
of where most people are at their age. Sometimes bands, they'll, they'll write a couple songs. Like, I'm going to use Bon Jovi for an example. Bon Jovi came out and they did Little Runaway and became an instant success. Yeah. And then the 7800 Degree Fahrenheit album was okay. And then they did Slippery When Wet and you had Living on a Prayer. You yeah. had um, uh, Wanted Dead or Alive. You had all these just just unbelievable tracks. It was like one album and it just it broke them and they just went. But these guys, from the very beginning, everything has just been boom, 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 boom. And they had so much pre- like just yeah. learning the music and understanding, and then took a, a, a like a inventory of their surroundings in the world, and they're like, "We're gonna write some music that means something to us on a personal level, and we're gonna put it out there." And they did that for what looks like three releases. They did that for uh, the Twenty First Century album, the Error album, and the uh, Murder of the Murder, Queen of the Murder Scene, Queen of the Murder Scene album. Before they did this current album, which I don't think they have a label produced. I think they just had a label distribute it. Yeah. I think that's the way I the think, way it worked out. I think labels and distributors are different. Yeah. But I think they ha they probably have their own label. Yeah, I and think they, they have the first three albums, the first two I bought, the the first album, the error album, I got directly from them. It came from them. This the the new album, the uh, the one that has Hell You Call Dream and all that, the current one, Keep Me Fed album, I think is what it's called. That album came from the that label that distributed that album because that was pressed on that deal, but uh, still purchased it through them. But it was distributed by that label. But uh, the point is that man, what, what year was this from? It was a couple. Of, this had to be a few years ago. I'm gonna forgive me. Two years ago, maybe. A year ago. It says, no, 2022, August shot in Mexico City at Teatro Metropolitan. Yeah, a little over two years August ago. of 2022. So two years ago. I mean, still, I mean, you're talking what? She was maybe 20 then and the other two are still teenagers. Yeah. Or maybe she's 21 at this point. I don't know. But the point, you get the idea. That it's just everything, they're beyond the full package at this point. Yeah. And now, when you look at the newer stuff they're doing, it's just like mind blowing. Yeah, like I said in one of the other videos, I wonder what they're going to be in ten years. Yeah, in ten years, they're just going to be on a whole nother level. Imagine like, if there was five of them. They don't even need five. There's the three of them are insane.
Okay, I gotta say something. That whole, like, you know, if I keep a smile on my face, nobody's gonna know what's going on inside, except for me and when I'm alone. That made me think, I don't know why, but, like, like Robin Williams. That man was, like, depressed. So, uh, the point was, everybody thought that man was fine. Man, he was like... Yeah. But... When they were... He... When he... When that face went down, it was like he was in a dark place. Like, uh... I guess the... The small pleasures he had before the end were times he spent with his daughter. And there was a couple videos I watched where they were playing, uh, Zelda. Zelda video games. And that was his highlight. And that time he had with his daughter near the end but I don't know why this made me think of that because the way the lyrics are and how she's talking about in her own head nobody ever will really know how, how what the really is going on and they all think her, she's fine and there's a lot of problems with that in the world today a lot of people when they say they're fine they're not always fine right like this week the last three four days I've had people go how are you doing I'm fine are you doing great I'm okay yeah I think People don't want to burden kinda, other people with what, what's going on with them. And and some people ask, and they're generally interested, and some people just ask because they're programmed to say, right, how are you today? Right, because it's polite. It's courteous. Yeah. And then most of the time, some people aren't ready for whatever you're going to say Right, back. but some people abuse that. You know, there's like some people you ask them if they're okay to be courteous, and then it just gets way too personal and way too right. uncomfortable very quickly. Yeah, that's why. So there's got to be a balance. There was the last couple of days... A very select few people got the reality answer, and others just got. I'm, I'm okay. I'm hanging in there. Yes, yeah. to everybody like, can I address the the uh, the the cooks and the uh, dishwashers all at the same time, please? And I'll talk to the servers later. I actually at work, most of the people had no idea. There was only a very select few people that knew that had seen the post on Facebook or the manager that I had talked to before I had gone to work and. It was a pretty, it was a surreal day to put it mildly. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. I've, I've never been one of those people that could really hide how I feel. Um, at least I, uh, I've been. It's like I'm not a someone who could put on a smile. Like, so I don't. I understand that a lot of people do it. A lot of people are great at it. Yeah, I've never been one of those people. But I wanted to add something about Robin Williams. I yeah, think sorry. That, I think that's how sorry, he we're died. Not, we're not trying to make this a Robin Williams. No, thing, no. But. I think that's how he died. But I really. I don't remember, and I just I thought about it as that as the words came out of my mouth. It's like imagine if you had died in in a painful way, you know, self harm, or it's like why does everyone have to know? You know, it's like I just think all that, I all I know is that he suffered from massive depression, and a yes. lot of it was unknown and not understood until after he was gone. Right, and it was almost like on a very a really a realm of tragedy. Yeah, he was a, a, a very talented man. He spent his entire life trying to make other people laugh. Yeah. While he was dying inside. Yeah. That's, that's just crazy to me. Yeah. Like, you are like, you are miserable because of the life, and not not your family, but just all the other aspects of life around you is just dragging you down, and you still get up every day and work to make other people laugh. It's an amazing to make individual, their day I think. better. I mean, I th- it's, I I think anybody who gets up and goes to work every day is amazing. Whether, whether it's hard or easy, I mean, whether it's hard or easy. Yep. All yeah. right, so that was... Uh, when I'm Alone. When I'm Alone. This next one is 23. Oh, if I was only 23 again. Oh, the things I would do different. Anyway, let's, here we go. We could get a commercial here soon, so be prepared. <laughs> I looked at you, same as before. What had changed, I do not know. But the thought of you were played in secret. It hurt me, but I asked for more. Falling down your rabbit hole, I kept to mind yeah, what right. I was feeling. I closed my eyes.
Okay, that was the first time we heard her sing or start a song was during the second TEDx, where she, the last song she gets in there and she starts singing and going, and it was really great. But that right there was awesome. Like her harmony, her whole the vocal and her range, that was awesome. Like we did that, we did a track recently where we did. A, we, I don't, I haven't posted it yet, but we reacted to her coming out and singing with Dead Poet Society, and that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it, but that whole section right there was fire, for lack of a better term. Yeah, it sounded great. That was amazing. I, I knew immediately it was her. How about you? Yeah, I did. I probably like two seconds in. Uh, well, it was definitely not Danny. Yeah. And I think Allie is more on the shy side where she's... The one track that I did that I heard her singing that the audio is really bad, there's supposedly somewhere in here that we'll get one of her singing. Yeah, I think she'll she'll start to come out of her show. But I'm going to back that all the way back up because that was amazing. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not yeah, sorry. I don't think they... Yeah. I don't think that much. I looked at you, same as before. What had changed, I do not know. But the thought of you were played in secret. It hurt me, but I asked for more. Falling down your rabbit hole, I kept on biting back what I was feeling. I closed my eyes.
Wow. Yeah, she's pretty impressive. So oh, my word. Like, we've already talked about the fact that she's playing drums and she does all these crazy harmonies and these loud screams. But she just sang an entire song. I don't even know how long it was. It was pretty quick. But the vocal, the... I, I wonder one day if they decide to all do a solo, solo project by themselves. I hope if they do, I hope they they all play the instruments on each other for each yeah. other. Like one, I does, think like for for example, Kiss their stuff. They, if they would have played on all their on all their solo albums, if they had all four played on each yeah. one, and then the I mean, one, extra guests, the whatever, one does people. all the lyric, does all the right. writing and the s- yeah. singing on that one. You could even say play this or don't play that, whatever. But that was that was pretty awesome. That was amazing. Like I. She's almost as refi- more refined as a vocalist right now than Danny is at this point. Although right now, at the newer stuff where Danny's at is just like unbelievable. I don't really know where she's at now because I right. don't know. But I, I think I like at, at this point and what I'm hearing. I think I think I like Danny's sense of melody but a little bit better. But I, it, it, it's difficult to say who wrote what. Right. Because they're probably they could all be contributing to their melodies. They could all contribute to everything. Who yeah. knows? And that's the impression I get is that. They've pretty much collaborated on everything, and they've like, right. have made it quite clear that, that they're all in it, and it is what it is. But that was that was awesome. Uh, Twenty three. Obviously, it's about you know someone dealing with yeah it, the normal type of issues at young ages. That's the young girls deal with. Yeah, that was awesome. I really like that. What do you got? What do you got? Um, I got the next one. Okay. The next one is uh, Survive, which was the track that we that we heard at the end of the first TEDx, which they did that kind of change up near the end of that track, and it was really phenomenal, if you remember. I so think. this is going to be an updated version of something we've seen before. Yeah. I wonder if they... And you were like, at the end of it, you were like... Oh my word! You like, <laughs> really, you might. It was either that one or the uh, one at the end of the other one that you were really kind of like. You might have even said, "Yeah." Anyway, here we All go. Right, let's check it out. Hold my breath. Maybe we get through this next track without a commercial. That'd be great. This is our commercial break. I think look, the cut with the songs are should be a yellow line with it. What? It's a, those cuts are just where the song's starting in. I know. Usually it's a yellow line if there's going to be a... I don't see a yellow line. It's based on how long you go without... Oh, really? Yeah. So, hopefully okay. it's after this. Don't come to me saying that you care. Last time we saw this track, Allie was like this tall. <laughs> Allie was this tall. <laughs> and she was wearing the white with the bass, and she's talking about all the stuff they're doing when they were growing up and how she was a little baby when they were learning how to play. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> all right. I just backed it up. Sorry. Don't come to me saying that. They're like freaking out because the, the crowd knows the lyrics. <laughs> Your words mean nothing. Your words mean nothing at all.
I can't even imagine any of these three having uh, being in a relationship where guys would be like, I'm out of here. You're just da, 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 whatever. I'm like, because if they that was the case, fools. They're not allowed to be in relationships. I, I bet they're not. But I mean, who knows? Who I'm cares? just saying, as a parent, right? No but I mean, to, they need to stay this way forever. But but you know what I mean. I do. Like, if if you were a guy that had been in any kind of relationship, even a high school or early teen relationship with either any of the three of these ladies, and you look back and you had done something that's like, oh, I can't be with you, blah blah blah, or you take this music thing too seriously, and then you look now and you'd be like. So they say hindsight like, is a fifty gallon drum. You'd be like, "What was I? Th- how was I so stupid?" You're supposed to say nobody says that. Nobody's <laughs> ever said that. Nobody? Yeah, look, I mean, come on, relationships are rough. Yeah, I just think it's interesting today, they... today's time frame and the way the world is today, at least in America. I don't know what it's like in Mexico. I guess it's it's probably just as hard there as it is here. But I would not want to be a young person today. No, not today. It's not it was difficult enough back when we were young. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's it. Yeah, yeah, this this has like a. Uh, I don't know if I said this or whenever we watched the first one. It's got a little bit of a feel like of like Sublime. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I and know. I really like uh, the melody. This is from one of the two TEDx's. I think it's from the first one, and I think it's the one where we skipped all their talking parts and we got in yeah. trouble for it. <laughs> yeah, everyone slapped our hands for that. I like uh, Paulina's melody. Oh, it's she's amazing. And I, what I liked about the last track and this one, especially the last track, is the extra inf- the amount of extra time that Danny had to just go crazy on the guitar. Especially in the last song. The guitar riffs and the solo and stuff in the last yeah. song. It's, it was amazing. Sorry, I should have said that before this song started, but hey, we got it. All right, here we go. Ready? Go for it. It was that ensemble at the end that you were like, oh my word. Do you remember this track? I do.
That is grooving as all get out. That was amazing. So that reminds me of a Rush song. I think we probably talked about it when we did the TEDx as well. I'm going to go back and figure out which one it is, and we're going to react to that because you probably don't know that track. Probably not. Um, that was – I like those three tracks. That was amazing. I yeah. like the – it was really cool seeing Pal sing a whole song. This song we got to see again while Allie's actually grown up and – Oh, this is... Yeah, this is, I can't wait to see one more. This is a cool three Alex tracks. Uh, maybe we'll do four next time because we're trying... But yeah, we have enough about, time, I think we should do them all in one shot because there are people who want to who's like, I'll watch the whole thing. So we did three and then three and then four. So we'll do four next time and then that would leave one, two, three, four. That would leave one, two, three, four, five, six, He's seven, doing eight, some nine. Huh? How many? Nine. There's 13 left. To think about how long this concert is. And they were, I mean, I I can't. We should just next time turn the lights out and get a can, light a candle and like uh, get some popcorn. Anyway, um, this is awesome. This will be uh, part four, I think. Yeah, part four. Uh, part one is not labeled part one. It's Teatro, blah, blah, blah. And it's the intro and it's got the names of those tracks. Part two is three tracks. Part three is three tracks that had Inner Sandman and a couple other tracks. Live at the Metropolitan Theater. And this is uh, part four. And uh, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. We've just recently hit 3,000 subscribers. You guys rock. We love you and appreciate you. And hi, I'm Drake. This is Bone. And we're getting out of here. All right, let's do it. Comment below on uh, what you guys think. And yes, we're getting to the Pepsi Center one. And we're trying to throw in some li some newer <laughs> stuff as well. Could you pause the video? or And then start recording? Because um, we could do a cool thing where we're getting out of here and then boop, we just disappear and then the video ends. Um, yeah, if I, I can't pause it. It'd okay. be stop right, or well. not stop. I mean, if the so we're gonna doesn't know how to pause. Stop it now? Sure. So this is us disappearing.